we've moved and um i thought i could get out here before it got dark to record some of the outside um i'm recording this to see if anything will happen i mean i've been over here for a week doing repairs on this house and haven't seen heard nothing i mean we've moved a lot of stuff in we're still unpacking but uh it's it's been it's been dead which has been just absolutely awesome i feel like i'm kind of getting my sanity back so I mean, that's a good thing right but um we kind of moved in the middle of nowhere um this is part of the old mcpherson um homestead it dates back to the civil war and there's something with native americans out here too but i'm not really sure i've got to look into it a little bit further but um heard some interesting stories but anyway that's not what i wanted to talk about what i want to talk about is i want to show this and see if we catch anything at all on video okay well let me show you the inside here all right nothing so far no voices <laughs> no nothing this is good i've got a little area we're turning into um but um little area over there uh, and we got a really good deal on this place I'm the only one over here right now haven't heard anything haven't seen anything this is good I think it followed me and I think I know why. It's about a little bit after eight o'clock. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All the little trinkets that I found or that found me, I guess. They all disappeared when we moved and I thought, you know, they'd been thrown away. And um, I came down here the other day because this is uh, the downstairs area. I'm going to turn it into a studio. I mean, it's just an absolute disaster right now with equipment. But I came down here the other day and I found that. Now, this thing had disappeared when we started to move and I did not place it there. So, and the really weird thing is this, let me show you. I opened it up. the music box but this was in there and I don't remember this do you hear that? You hear that? Somebody just ran up the steps and I'm the only one here. Staying over here at night trying to get things together. Now the only thing that really worries me is that bottle. 
Where did it go to? grab the camera maybe I can record some of this crazy crazy stuff I was hearing I mean a minute ago I mean it 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 really sounds like it's just coming from all over the house near the ceiling I've never heard anything like it before some crazy stuff maybe maybe I can get some audio of it Okay, what the hell is that? Oh, there it goes again. What the hell is that? What the hell is this? Oh, it's like a low rumbling. Whoa. It's going from all over the place. How is it even coming from in here? It's like on the ceiling. What the crap is that? I moved all these boxes that were over here and I found this. It's the vial and it's broken. I don't know how it broke or where it even came from, but it's here. And I, I need to clean it up.
Okay. All right. Put this down to brush it off, but it started moving. <laughs> Was that? Uh, I think I know what this bottle is and what it represents now. Uh, this article right here, along with this dark mass thing, these noises. They really have got me inquiring into the whole Madeline and Sophia and the Long Acres and all of this really deep because I got to figure out what the crap is going on. And I've been doing a lot of research, if you can't tell in the books I have here. But this article, this one right here, something that just blatantly stands out in front of me is... She was tied to a tree near what appeared to be occultic items. Now, that got me thinking, and I started doing research, and there were several occults in the early eight, in the late, well, the early two, 1900s, early, late you know, 1870s in this area. And one of them, which is really terrifying because of what they were trying to do, it's called the Ningash, or the cult of the Ningash. And the Ningash was a god, like a serpent tree god, that was ruler over the underworld. And the weird thing is, they had a, a, uh, a underling, his name was Lamashu. And it was evil. Did you see that? I didn't even notice that thing was moving. What the hell? I don't see anything on this. It's kind of wobbly. It's loose. Maybe that's what it was. It wouldn't be moving like that. I don't know. Start talking about this stuff and all kinds of weird crap starts happening. I think it was moving. under the domination of Ningash. Now this demon does evil for the sake of its own evil, basically. And its children are its victims. 
Now that's what this cult would do, is they would sacrifice children trying to bring about this demon coming into our world. So it's kind of, it's kind of weird, weird occultic type stuff, but that's what these guys did. And I think that's what the black mass is. I mean, it, it could have been in the bottle. Maybe that's what that was. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Maybe this is all coming to pass. Oh my God. I didn't put that there. Coming to pass. Oh my god. So I would put that there. The doll freaked me out the other day. <sighs> but I've been doing more and I know some of you guys don't understand that uh, Nagash is the uh, underworld God okay um, he is uh, he's actually mentioned in some of the Gilgamesh tales too Gilgamesh meets uh, him in the underworld and uh, it says he's the guardian over all demons that live in the underworld. That's some creepy stuff. I've been doing even more research, trying to find in the area where this this cult following would have done their you know cult worshiping stuff. And I think I know the area. And uh, I'm going to go there. I'm going to record and see what happens. Because if you don't know what video I'm talking about, I'll put a link right down here so you can see it. But... What the crap was that? Whoa! Did you hear that? Oh my god. <laughs> what was the I think I'm about there. I think this is it. This is an area called the Devil's Moss. I think this is where the video was taken. The mosquitoes are huge. I mean, there's a lot of weird things that go on over here and this place supposedly is, is haunted my kids have come up here in full round and stuff like that but it's it's uh see there's one of the rocks right in close to it and it looks like the video oh man this is, 
This isn't killing. This isn't killing me. Can't look at these things. Look at this rock. It's huge. Yeah, there are a lot of stories that come out of this place. You're not supposed to be up here. This is one of them. Like the video. Look at these things. There's a little story that an old lady used to live up here too. I don't know if that relates to the video. It doesn't, I don't think it does, I don't know. There's just so many different elements in this thing. And the conclusions that I think that was the place where she was killed. And the mash too has her soul. I mean, that's the only thing I can come up with. I really don't think Madeline is Madeline. I think it's this demon soul sucking. I think it's what's causing most of this. And just, I mean, I can't sleep anymore because of this. Every time I do something happens, all I can do is continue and continue and continue and continue to the document. Did you hear that? This is kind of what I'm talking about, these slams and bumps. So much more than I used to. Hearing things, strange things.
<laughs> oh god, I've never... stuff <laughs> oh, watching TV nothing weird happening and then all of a sudden bam -oh. strange stuff once more <laughs> just laughing about it because it so happens all so often when you get a break it's nice but fortunately this wasn't one of those moments weird noise that I heard was coming from over there next to the stairs. Everything seems to accumulate around the stairs. It has to be from that house, but it doesn't make any sense for this house because this house had nothing to do with the other house. But anyway, um, I heard a growl. Just like weird. Freak me out, grab the camera. Here I am. So, I don't know. Oh, there it is again. That's the same noise I heard that one time. Over here, where the growling is, and the weird noises. Okay, just got that wonderful chill up my spine. Oh, it's bad. Oh, really bad, though. I don't know if I want to go over there. I got to. I don't want to, but I got to. That is like somebody behind me. It really did. Sound like someone coming up. You know, someone taps me on my shoulder. I may end up dropping this camera. Where did she go?
I never saw that before. gonna come up behind me. Maybe I should try some different approach because this thing is, I've never, I don't know how to deal with this.
I'm just recording this right now because the whole house started shaking a minute ago. I don't deal with most of this anymore. The thing, the bike back thing, the, the the whole house just started shaking and rumbling, and then that that noise that I keep hearing over and over again. But now it sounds like it's like everywhere. I mean, I opened up the door and I could hear it outside. I'm gonna try to talk to it again. I think it wants to eat my soul. I think it, according to the legend, it wants to eat everybody's soul. One for yes, two for no. Are you here? When you know it, it doesn't do anything when I ask it to. It's like it's some sort of like stupid demon or something. Are you here? Okay. All right, that's creepy. again <laughs> damn be gone from me please You want me? What do you want? What do you want? Just hit me. What the crap was that? Hmm. There it is again.